Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. We hit 400 subscribers recently. Thank you so much for that and all the love and support. I just wanted to let you guys know that I, things have been kind of crazy and busy. My back is doing better, but I still have a chance with the surgeon. Uh, I have a daughter. One of my youngest daughters broke her foot this week. Um, and my oldest daughter, whose birthday is today. Happy birthday, baby doobie. Um, you were 17. Good for you, kiddo. Um, but you, <laughs> she's also got pneumonia. My wife was in a car accident, told one of our cars. It's been crazy. Welcome to 2020. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. But I really do appreciate you guys being here. Today, we're going to talk about a free-to-play guide after Soleus. What am I going to do after Soleus? I have, I have Soleus now. What do I do with it? And I'm completely free to play. I've got a lot of people reaching out to me. This is this video is more or less dedicated uh, to the Sir Nobody. Him and I have been talking a good bit on Discord about what to do after Soleus. And he feels like he's kind of languishing around. He doesn't really know what to do, what to invest in. Well, there's a couple of different things that I would tell you to do. First off, the next legendary character you're probably going to want to work on is Ember. All right. Ember, you have to unlock with orcs or no sorry not orcs i apologize that's who you got to get soleus with uh elves right so your next unlock would be elves i assume that's going to come back around there's been no announcement about when ember may come back um but i would assume you know we once again we're kind of guessing but you know three months from the last time it came out and so that might be enough time to start then working on your elves they will certainly help with that with the next unlock. You definitely want to do that. But the elves are not particularly easy to farm. Wonder Lula does make things easier um, if you have her. But if you don't, you know, Sinjel, Alaria, Sharp, and Kelrian. I mean, Kelrian's pretty decent tank. Sharp does some great stuff on the dragon. Uh, Nightingale's amazing. But when you're talking about trying to farm these guys, order seven nine, right? You're you're it's kind of it's kind of up there. But you should be able to be there, right? Order seven nine, right? And so we're we're looking at seven nine. Where are you at there, Nightingale? It's one shard, and we're looking at the enemies, right? Sixty one. So you should be able to walk through this. So you should have this already done at three stars. Um, you know, if you're roughly level seventy and you were able to get. Soleus at five and at five or at seven stars. Now keep in mind this is for free to play people. I'm going to make a guide for how to whale in this game. If you want to whale in this game, I can show you how to do that. I made a lot of mistakes on my own whaling, and so I can try to give you an idea of how to whale better than I did, because I certainly didn't do the best job. Um, but this particular guide is about how you're going to get the bigger bang for your buck, right? And you're going to get a bigger bang for your buck by going after the characters that are good. And they're good because they're tier one characters. Now, if you're new around here, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, drop a comment down below, hit my discord up, send me messages. I'm more than happy to help you out, but you got to know that tier one characters matter and they matter a lot. And the reason for that is that they plug and play. In my view, tier one characters are characters that can be plugged and played. Most of your legendary characters are tier one because they can be plugged and played pretty easily. But there are a lot of free to play characters um, that are just good that are plug and play sort of characters because of their mechanics. And uh, let's go, let's talk about those. And these are the ones you're going to want to invest in and they're completely accessible for you. So I'm in my, I'm in my store right now, right? Kara, She's completely free to play and an amazing character, right? She gives great synergy. If you are not farming her and you are free to play, you need to stop what you're doing in your guild store and go straight to farming her. She's going to give you a lot of bang for your buck. She's fantastic, right? She's fantastic. Master Duo here, he's not a free-to-play, plug-and-play sort of character, but he can do some amazing things in raids. And so when you're talking about going in here and looking at you know, your, 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 uh, your arena, right? You're looking at the different characters that are available on the arena store. They're just not that many, right? That are just amazing, right? Now, Salvador is quite amazing. And so if you wanted to start farming him, you could do that. But when you're talking about, you know, you need sharp stones, you need Sinjil stones for, right? You could just start farming them up and you'll start getting them up pretty quickly, just free to play, just by doing your arena. Uh, and I assume that your arena, uh, your arena team is your orc team. And so you can be starting to work very quickly on your, your, on your, uh, Ember unlock team, right? For that. 
in your tournaments. I don't know how you're doing on your tournaments as a free to play player. I personally find that tournaments are probably tough on free to play players because you're going to be stuck up against the whales and the dolphins and the krakens and all that good stuff. So they're probably pounding away on you in tournaments because your roster is not particularly big. And so that's going to be a tough mark, but do your best uh, that you can. Um, but I would not be, I'm not farming shards at a tournaments personally uh, because the gear is just much more important uh, for me at the present moment. But that's, a, once again, that's not for you. If you're trying to, if you're trying to push, I would assume that you're working on individual characters and trying to build teams and then leveling them up all at the same time. Uh, and so I'm trying to give you the team, the people that you should be focusing on. Same here. Venomate, right? An amazing character. Now, he's not really a tier one character in my book. He's not great plug and play sort of character. But the fact is, is that when you you have Kara, Venomate's just so much good. It's just so good. He's amazing. Hilda could be a great one if you need a tank. If you don't have a tank and you're trying to figure out what is the fastest way to get a decent tank, she is it because you want to farm Kara and you can be farming Hilda at the same time. Or you can be, if you already have Venomate, you can farm Hilda. But what I would tell you to do first is get Kara and then get uh, then get Venomate. Once you're done with them, right, and you get them geared up, right, you can go back in here and farm Ken Lee and then you could farm uh, Hilda. However, do keep in mind that the new Goblin Legendary event is down around the corner. If you want to start getting a jump on it, you could be hitting up Puncher Face. Puncher Face is a great plug and play character. He really can just be plugged and played. And so he has a great, some great abilities which would allow you to get in there and uh, really disrupt Taunt and that sort of thing. So keep in mind that he could be good too. But if you're really wanting to know where you need to go right now, Kara and Venomate, you're not going to miss out on them. They do good things. They have great synergy with each other. Now, if you already have seven star Solius, you're going to have stars. You're going to have stars and you're going to have unlocks. Well, here's the thing. All right. Depends on where you want to be. You can get Wonder Lula shards now out of the out of the star shop. Right. You could be farming her. She's a good plug and play character. She does a good bit of damage and she will be able to help you unlock Ember. In fact, the final tier of Ember is all demons. And so if you end up getting her up and having her final ability all the way up, you're going to be getting a huge benefit from her. But you got to have her at seven stars. And this is one way to do it. However, with that being said, if you're looking for the better character, right, you want Hard Orc. Hard Orc is an amazing character, and you want to have him in your roster. No doubt about that. Hard Orc is just a superior character. He is a top-tier character, and you can use him for so many things. So... If you do not have hard work yet, you need to be farming him out of the shop. He's free to play. All right, you already have your seven star orcs, so you could be tapping those orcs and getting these and getting hard orc shards um, every day. You could be hitting those up and getting some extra shards. And if you're getting five or so, five or ten shards a day, that might be too much. You might not be able to actually do that. Um, but if you can get five shards a day, you're looking pretty good. You'll get there. Um, hard orc's pretty amazing. Um, and so. That's that's my recommendation here. If you're using your stars, you need to be hitting hard work up because he is fantastic. Um, he is actually absolutely fantastic and will do great things for your roster and, and for your team if you're looking to do some raids. So let's talk about let's talk about raids and the different sorts of things that you want to be able to do. Right. You're going to want to get through your campaign. Uh, you're probably doing pretty well there, considering you're probably level 70 at the minimum. Um, you might be a little bit lower. You might have been able to get solely as a 68 or 67. Uh, but. All right, you're probably in your 70s at this point and you're going, where, where do I go from there? Well, you're going to have your different challenges that you're going to want to do, right? The challenges are important and they matter. Uh, you want to be able to have these done, right? So you can do a lot of these things with your orcs and you're probably pretty far up with your orcs. And if you got good orcs, you're probably getting through most of the challenges. However, some of them are just going to be very difficult for you because you're not going to have a robust roster enough to be able to do, say, the defenders or the healers. That's going to be a tough one for you. Uh, and so you can work on those. Another one that I would another character that is not particularly accessible, um, but you'll want to you'll want to do your best about trying to get is going to be Patriarch Chi. Uh, he's going to do you a just so much. 
He's going to do so much for you in, and, um, Oh, where are the pandas at? I can't find a panda panda. There he is. All right. He's going to do so much for you, but he is not the easiest character to farm, as you can see. So let's jump over to my main account real quick so we can look at this. It's easier. All right. Dawn 7-3 and 3-3. This, you should have these, right? You should have these and you should be working on them. And so you just you have to just farm them up and to be honest with you i farmed a lot of these guys up um i did put, spend money on the game no doubt about that but i did farm them up and to get him up to seven stars and so that's not a bad way to go the other issue you're going to run into is where to spend where you're going to spend your um your spend your scrolls and we'll get to that in a second but let's let's continue to talk about the characters right snorri's really really good but as you can see he's good and then he drops off right and the reason why he drops off is because there are a lot of other characters that do just better than him they're just they're just better um and kara's one of them and so Kara and Venomate, I can't strongly suggest you to do best in them. You're not going to lose out on them. They're going to be pretty great. And they're they're demons, right? Um, and so you're only helping yourself with your demon team uh, for, for unlocking uh, General Murdoch. And then you have Xantara, um, Pentraface, and Mega Wheel. And so Xantara, once again, it's kind of the same thing. But if you have Solius, you don't necessarily need Xantara right now. Solius is the best healer in the game, probably the best character in the game. So, you know, you don't really need her, but you do need her for to unlock that. So, I mean, I wouldn't worry so much about that. I don't think you're there um, trying to worry about General Murdoch, but you can be. Ember's pretty amazing uh, for what she can do on a team, and she does a lot of damage. And so that's very, very important. So let's talk about the guide for the raid, right? Here's my current teams that I, that I'm currently using, as you can see here, hard orc, very, very important. Kara again, master duo, uh, Trumgar, right? You're going to have some of these characters, right? Rebel. You may only have Trumgar. If you only have Trumgar, right? You should be working on Kara. You should be working on hard orc. You can farm master duo, right? Not, you know, you can farm master duo and you can farm all these characters. You could be farming all these characters at the same time. And you could be doing very well in your raid, you know, at five, five star, six star raid. And then when, as you're working up, as you're working up, you'll get more and more stuff. Um, and that's, that's not a bad thing. Um, so that's my current team there. But when you start to getting into these, some of these other teams, like for hard orc, right, we're talking about Patriarch Chi and Solius, Nightiel, Freezard. These are characters that are not, they're difficult to get a hold of um as a free-to-play player because you're not spending money and you're not progressing but you you know you can farm them so at least you got right patriarchy you can farm you're gonna have to just invest into elves which may be something you don't want to do and it may not be worth your time to do because she's great but you gotta sink a lot into elves to get her Freezard's an amazing character. Um, and so, I mean, if, if you haven't unlocked him yet and you haven't gotten his special bundle, right? The little, the, you know, the, if you're not buying that either because you're completely free to play, I understand, but he's an amazing character that you're going to want to invest in. Um, and so, and these are just good characters all around. They're just good. You're not going to lose out on spending, you know, spending investment on Freezard. If you're looking at my even my own account, right? Two things, but you're talking order 86 and 712, you should probably be there. 86 is going to be a little tough. Um I think order 86 because you're not going to have a big roster uh and you're not going to have great order characters probably at the moment. That'd be my guess. But when you're talking about 86, it's I mean it's a it's a toughie. Um all right, you're talking about level 70s and you're talking about order. And you may not have that many order characters. Um, but you can get there. You just got to kind of push through. And if you have to fight the battles, you have to fight the battles. Okay. So if you're looking at my particular, my roster right now, right, these are the characters that I've invested into gear 11, right? They're the reason why I've invested in them is not just because I'm chasing metas because these characters really are plug and play essential. They can do a lot of really good stuff, right? Patriarchy, Venomate, and Hard Orc. I mean, those are really are my top you know, my top 11 characters that I've worked on rebels right up there. I've got him up, but then it kind of drops off, right? Ken Lee's down here at the bottom somewhere. Um, work on your little baddie, uh, you know, a little baddie at five stars, four stars, three stars. is just really good. Um, she just is really good. So 
Then we go into what do you want to do with your ability scrolls? Well, they're really, really super important. Your ability scrolls are. And I can tell you right now that one of the best videos that I've seen on ability scrolls is um, actually comes from Nerd This. I can link it in the description below. And he has a great ability scrolls guide that's going to kind of show you what you're looking at. But the basis of his video, um, and, and hopefully when you go there, you'll get a little bit better, you'll understand, is understanding what you're getting for your, you know, for the bang for your buck. So, right, if you're looking at, say, Venomate here, right, who I have six across the board, um, but then I don't all have everybody. So let's kind of look sharps across six across the board, I believe, as well. Um, puncher face. I don't have anything. I kind of have him set up a little bit, right? His ability earthquake is where you're going to get a lot of great abilities from 210% inflicts two taunt for two turns, but he doesn't get that until his sixth ability. But some abilities, right? They gain haste right here, right? So he, this one right here is 200, 260 and 30% haste and gain haste for two turns. If you just go to the next one, 320, it's a big jump, right? And now it's a 50% chance to gain haste and 400, right? So it's, there are some big jumps towards the end. And so you kind of have to decide where you want to put them. And I think that's really up to you um, and what your play style is and the things that you want to do with your characters. You're obviously not chasing the meta and that's okay. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of with some people I've seen on discord. They're not particularly happy with the meta, right? It's all solely as night EL, you know, cruel or sodius night EL ember, um, you know, little baddies coming around Trumgar, right? It's basically all the same, you know, solius lead night EL, uh, cruel ember and Freezard are some combination of Solius, Nightingale, and Freezard. And I get that. And there was 22 new characters coming to the game. Um, you know, we don't know exactly when that's coming, but there's going to be two new races and 22 more characters. So there's a lot going to happen. Things are going to change. But I t I'm telling you that these particular characters that I'm looking at right up here at the top, these top 11, you just can't go wrong. But I know the, to get some of these top 11, right? Ember, you've got to invest in... You have to invest in them. And I have, like I said, I have a guide which can tell you what you need um, for Ember. I, you know, what I unlocked Ember at. And it's not, it's not a lot. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Um, you know, if you can do Solius, you can do Ember. Uh, but you got to focus on elves. But elves are just not as good as orcs are. They're, you know, some of the elves are amazing, right? Of course. Uh, these two. <laughs> um, you know, Nighty L and Wonder Lua. So that's really the it um, for the guide. I really, really do appreciate all the support. You guys, I thank you so much for being here and giving me uh, the time. If you have any questions, please hit me up on Discord. Drop a comment down below. Uh, if you have any uh, anything that if you think I'm wrong, I could be easily wrong about this, but I think that you're I think if you go with those investments, you're just you're going to enjoy those characters. They're going to work well for you that I can guarantee you um, they're going to help you in tower. They're going to help you in arena. They're going to help you in your raid. They're just every you're just not going to lose out. Um, and and when new characters drop, I'll be able to tell you where to get them from and that sort of stuff. So with that being said, uh, one last thing, right? Guild shop. All right. If you don't have Ken Lee maxed out and you don't have Kara maxed out, you should not be farming diesel rock. Just don't farm diesel rock. Right. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't farm him. I'm currently, I've been farming him for a little while, uh, but there's no reason for this. This character is not particularly good yet. Could be really, really good, but not yet. Right. Kara is the way to go. All right. So just to recap, farm Kara. All right here, either Salvador, either farm Salvador or farm Master Duo. If you want to have the team that I have in, in there, farm Master Duo. Um, Tower, right? Venomate, <laughs> Puncher Face, Hilda, farm Hard Orc out of, out of stars, um, and that sort of thing. If you, like I said, if you got any questions below, hit me up, drop a comment down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.